thank you for coming to my final project for my BSN. The focus of this presentation was to target an area of nursing that needed to have improvement. The area I chose was readmission rates. One in every five people that are admitted to the hospital will return within 30 days. This is a significant problem for the patients, the families, the hospital, and expense-wise. Patients are returning to the, with the same issues as currently being discharged with or worse complications of the previous admission. Somewhere along the process of admission, stay, and discharge, information, education, and comprehension are being missed. The project is called to decrease readmission with the with I'm sorry with follow through patient education. The purpose of the project is to help lower readmission rates, help patients have stronger understanding of their medications, treatments, and next steps of care, and what it takes to perform the patient's strongest level of functioning, as well as the caregiver or the family members to have a deeper level of the patient's medications, treatments next step of care and to have the strongest level of functioning for their patient, as well as educate the nursing staff on how to better educate families and patients with their discharge instructions throughout a patient's stay and after a patient is discharged. The project is, is supported on the background of a change theorist. The conceptual model that helped to frame this study is Lippitt's change theory. Ronald Lippitt is a change theorist. Lippitt's change theory is based on bringing in an external change agent to put, in a, to put a plan in place to affect change. There are seven stages in this theory. They are first to diagnose the problem, ex next access motivation, access change agent's motivation and resources, select progressive change objects, choose a change agent role, maintain change, and terminate help after all the steps have been process to see how well the um, new technique is going to work. The method for this project is first, we're gonna select a group of nurses to take part. The project will last one year and data will be collected and assessed quarterly. At the start of each week, the patients will be chosen based on the charge nurse, from the charge nurse based on how long their potential, or what their potential discharge date will be. We're gonna choose patients that'll be there for 24 hours, 36 hours, 48 hours, 72 hours, and five days. The um, patient developer, or the project developer will choose, a, will have a big bank of questions that'll be created, and questions will be chosen from this bank based off of what the patient's needs are, based on what medications they have, their, uh, their treatment plan, and their care plan. That's how the questions will be chosen. These questions will be asked by the nurse daily. So there's two nurses, so there's 12 hour shifts, so the patients will get asked twice a day this, this particular maybe five questions that they'll have. So the patients are hearing the same questions every day. Question examples would be is what, what does this medication do for you? What is it for? When do you take it? And then also things such as demonstrating a, um, a treatment technique they would have, whether it would be a dressing change or things like that. And so the patient will be repetitious every day during their stay to, to perform these things or answer these questions. 24 hours before discharge, the patient will be given all the information they need for discharge planning. And it will be gone over as well as the caregiver will come in, the, edu the education will be done and a short quiz will be given. All the quizzes are the questions that the patient has had throughout their stay. The patient will need to answer them and the caregiver will need to answer them. This will prompt just getting a jump start on the discharge process. The next day, the patient and the caregiver or the family will come in and they'll have had 24 hours to kind of think on what they would need to ask the nurse before being discharged. So upon discharge, it would be just as it is normally. You'll go home with all your information that you would need to continue um, your care. One week after the patient is discharged, the project developer will call the patient and ask how things are going. Two weeks they'll call, and then at the end of the month they'll call, so they'll be checked on three times. The purpose is to check the status, ask questions, assess needs and concerns, and to avoid readmission at all cost. The potential outcome for the project is, is to lower readmission rates by 50%, and an increase in patient education and family education by 
The overall quality of life for the patient will increase due to understanding their medications and how they work and what treatment and care plans they are on and how to perform them at home. Caregivers will know how to better care for the patient and the RN and staff will know how to better educate their patients and ensure their comprehension. Having the greatest care and the best quality of life for our patients is the ultimate goal. Any questions? I've got one. Okay. Um, what problems or issues do you think you'll encounter along the implementation of the program? Okay. Um, there are definitely potential issues that could happen. We may have patients who don't want to participate. There may, may not be caregivers or a support system, so the patient will be on their own. Not being able to get in touch with the patients at that one week, two week, and one month mark. And the patient could be readmitted due to not seeking help from all these resources that we've provided them. There are studies that have shown that helping to aid in a patient's education of their medication, um, teaching about their medical condition, their treatment, and their care plans does decrease readmission rates. I'm optimistic and encouraged that this project strategy will decrease readmissions with the follow-through of patient education. Okay, very good.